It was never a matter of if. We knew God was calling us to do this. We just didn't know when. We're John and Melody Christian, and we're adopting. I'm John, and I'm an IT support analyst for a local ministry here in Colorado Springs, and I'm originally from Wisconsin. I'm Melody. I work from home with my own graphic design business where I help writers with their brands and their self-published books. We've been married for six years and we have two dogs. John and I met in college our freshman year. We met our very first semester and we started going out our second semester. We graduated in 2010 and then shortly thereafter in the fall we got married. We moved to this beautiful little mountain town, Palmer Lake. We really like to go camping on the weekends. We have a camper that we fixed up a few summers ago. So we really like to take that up to the Rocky Mountain National Park area. There's a few campgrounds up there we really enjoy and some really good hiking. No one ever thinks when you're ready to start a family that you're gonna be faced with infertility. We just thought when we were ready to have kids, we'd be ready to have kids and that we'd have them. But something that we've really learned through this entire process is that God's plan is always greater than ours. And at the end of the day, we can try to mold things into how we think they should be. God shows us that his plan is perfect. It's just a matter of surrendering to that timing. I was able to uh, have the opportunity to spend some time in Belarus and do some mission work there with my family. We were able to just get to know some families who were, who were dealing with some real poverty situations. And it started, a, we called it a virtual orphanage, kind of a way for us to keep track of these families and help them in any way we could, specifically the children, making sure they had food and things like that. And, and I think that's what really kind of gave me the burden uh, for adoption. When I was on my short-term mission trip in Ukraine, I connected with a little four-year-old orphan girl. Her name was Yulia. Uh, we were inseparable. We really formed a friendship, even though we didn't speak the same language. One of the camp leaders actually came to me and she said, Yulia is asking for you. She wants to see you. And this was the night before we were leaving. And so I went to their little dorm uh, where they slept and she was just in tears and she was saying, no, no, don't leave, don't leave. In that moment, I decided that one day I would adopt, that I would release one child from the confines of that hopelessness that I saw in Yulia's eyes. So we talked to some friends that were adopted parents and we decided to pray about it. And it was on the night of my 29th birthday and we were both laying in bed and I looked over at John and I said, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to adopt. And John looked at me and he said, great, let's adopt. Actually, it was more like, great. Let's adopt. Let's go to bed. <laughs> Even though we have huge hearts for the Slavic countries, we decided that we would like to start here, at home. We know that this process is going to take a tremendous amount of faith in God's provision. It's going to take a village, a village of our family and our friends supporting us and helping us to make this dream a reality. So we're ready. We're ready to bless the life of the family and we're ready for our lives to be blessed and become parents for the first time. <laughs>